Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the celebrity field here at Sydney Polo Club for our 2017 World Polo Championships Show Jumping Showcase. Brought to you by Showcase of Show Jumping, we have our Generations Challenge. This is the finale event, our knockout stakes, where we have the four teams coming out in pairs. It's going to be a very exciting competition this afternoon here as we have the two starters that are going to come out and it's going to be a head-to-head -head race where we have one rider from one team, one rider from another, versing each other in pairs and it's going to be a race. Now, any jump that they knock down will be two seconds added to their time and uh, all the teams are being put on an even playing field here this afternoon. So thank you for, for tuning in and we'll be live streaming on our Facebook page in just a few moments' time. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first combination out. This is going to be a very exciting one to kick us off. We have Chris Chapman, right, and Generation Y, rider James Arkins, twins, Ava. You can see them competing equal courses. James Allen walking around on twins, Ava. Turns so James rides ahead. He gives his horse a smack, but Ark it's two seconds in my. James Arkins takes the lead there. Chris Chug drawing the final fence, incurring a two set. The Arkins goes one. First baby knocked out of the competition. Well, we now welcome out in our next. Jamie MVNZ and she waits for her for Generation X, the black team. Stallion by the name of Brunda normally ridden by Todd Hine and kind is Manager for the Gen Y, the blue team, but owns and, and normally rides the Harvey. So he's uh, been shared the ride with with Brooke Campbell. Okay. Wonderful. A wonderful. Dubai showcase of show jumping. Generations Challenge at the Polo Championships. We're looking at the weekend, the World Polo Championships finals. Three, two, and one. Priestley on course, just a young that Brookie Campbell's on. Definitely a bit of a step up for this this young horse. The Jamie Priestley and the New South the last for Bronda Harvey and Brooke Campbell to again. with the for 
riding red, Jamie Priestley. Red. And now. We will take James R and J. So let's us uh, line. Know what we're up to? We are at the showcase of show jumping generations challenge here on the celebrity Sophia seventeen world. Are currently in the show jumping finale knockout stakes, where each team member is versing a rival, and uh, it's a knockout stake. So we're taking one combination through from each round here this afternoon to uh, determine our winning team, our winning generation. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. He could play Allison Roll. Very on course. Now, Gabby Kuna and Flair. Very experienced combination. Allison Rollins looking. She's already on the turn, but Gabby Kuna and Flair. Very tight combination. Back to the off. Gabby. One less stride to the vertical. Tighter turn back. Alison Rowland gets the flaps happening. She's a bit far in. Abby Kuna and Flair. Alison Rowland will get the moment. Alison Rowland just ahead. Third, three zero five zero is the time for Alison Rowland and Oaks Visionary. Oh my goodness, it was so close. Less than one second between those two riders, and uh, it's definitely clear that the first half of the course is quite deceiving. It takes a bit longer to do the related lines to begin, but once they start adding a few turns, the riders can well and truly catch up. So our on-course announcer, on-the-grounds announcer and starter, Tim Dreverman, jogs over to the start line. We have a start, standing staff for both riders. We now welcome out our two generations, Gen Z, Eliana Derry and Black Currency, and Amanda Madigan riding for Gen X, our black team on Versailles. They're underway on course now. Amanda Madigan and Versailles a little bit tighter around the corner. Eliana's just taken overtaken Amanda. Amanda's very tight back. Amanda gets the, the sideline assistance there. Nose to nose right down to the finish. One less for Amanda. What a finish. Another very close ride by the two ladies, Jen. And the winner coming out, Amanda Madigan, Versailles, 3074. The winner, Amanda Madigan. Well done, a wonderful round there. Very exciting run on the edge of our seats here at the Sydney Polo Club. We hope you are at home as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now welcome out our next combination. Gen X versus Gen Z. 
Young Gun, Sophie Smith writing Bellhaven Jazz, Jazz, a very quick combination. And Leon Carroll writing Mia Catalina. These horses could not be any more different. Both chestnut mares. Mia Catalina is big and slow, big moving warm blood. Bellhaven Jazz is a bit smaller, very compact and quick. Sophie Smith turns back on Bellhaven Jazz. She hasn't got a partner Harry Owens here to cheer her on, but she's going just as fast. Bellhaven Jazz drawing another rail. Two seconds to be added. Leon Carroll's looking better now, but he's taking his sweet old time back across the Nullarbor and back again. Sophie Smith gets home well and truly ahead, but let's add those rails. So a win to Leon Carroll, 34 seconds after we added the four seconds for Sophie Smith. She couldn't quite get there. Leon Carroll going through to the next round on Mia Catalina. Well, we now welcome out our next combination. Will Matthew riding for Gen Y, our bright blue team riding for Appliances Online and our Baby Boomers Navy team, Chrissy Harris, comes back out on the mare HSP Manu. They've uh, certainly picked their mounts here this afternoon. They've gone for the fastest horses to bring out in our knockout stakes. They have a standing start. Chrissy Harris just getting ahead out of the start box on HSP Manu. Takes the rail at the first fence though. Maybe a bit too slow. She's making up for it now. Turning tight. Looking good. Chrissy Harris back to the vertical. Can Will Matthew be ahead? Will's at two strides ahead. Will Matthew coming down to the rustic vertical. Oh, Chrissy draws another rail. Will Matthew's already turned and heading back to the next fence. One fence left to go. Coming down to the final fence. Will Matthew well and truly ahead for Gen Y. And Will Matthew cruises through to the second round. And a wonderful ride there by Will Matthew on Alpha Crew. It'll be interesting as we get through these uh, rounds where the, the rails are going to start to fall. We have uh, course designer and builder John Vallon sitting here next to me. Um, John, how do you think the course is riding so far? I think it's quite uh, quite even. We've had winners from both sides, and that's always important. It's a tough tough uh, task getting exactly the same length, but we're close enough that it's not influencing the results. Fantastic. Thanks, John. And uh, would you like to see these types of events coming back into uh, the general show jumping world? For sure. I, I think this is absolutely fabulous. It's uh, something different. We have a diet of table A's, and that's like eating lettuce every night. I think uh, these... these uh, Fun classes, uh, you know, it uh, gets gets the new crowd uh, involved. Uh, all the other sports are changing, and uh, we're not uh, unless we do something like this on a regular basis. Thanks, John. So we'll cross back to the main arena now. We have Dave Cameron, Nicolette on course, Amelia Douglas, Baricello. Bit of an age gap here with Gen X and uh, Gen Z, our youngest team member, Amelia Douglas, at just 17 years of age. She turns for home. Dave Cameron just two strides ahead. He's catching the vertical. Still two, still two strides ahead. Two very talented chestnut horses. Dave Cameron's well and truly ahead. Can he take down and take the lead? Well and truly through the finish flags. And uh, I suggest owner of that horse, Tony Norman, on the sideline, even though... He's uh, managing a different team. He's pretty happy with that result. Tony Norman, big grin from ear to ear there with a win to Dave Cameron and Nicolette. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our final, final pair coming out for round number one. We have Andrew Inglis returning to the arena riding Black Marlin representing the Baby Boomers and Talara Barwick riding for Oaks Donatello.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, Gen X are sitting pretty with three riders through to uh, the next round of competition. We see Talara Barwick come out very slowly. She's riding the nomination of Izzy Guinness. Normally, this horse, Oaks Donatello, normally ridden by Talara's student. Izzy Guinness, I'm sure she's just testing out the training on this uh, lovely horse and she's got Baby Boomer coming up behind her, Andrew Inglis on Black Marlin, a very competitive combination. This is going to be exciting to watch, ladies and gentlemen. We have three, two and one coming out of the start box. Ooh, Andrew Inglis penalised as a false start coming out of the standing start box. They need to uh, stop again. Coming down to the final fence, Andrew Inglis is kicking and kicking and he is well and truly ahead of Talara Bowick. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in at home on our live streaming we uh, are now moving on to round two of the knockout stakes here at the showcase of show jumping generations challenge we're currently in the knockout stakes we just watched our first round the uh, finalists going into round number two will be james arkins versus jamie Priestley, and allison roland versus amanda madigan leon carroll versus will matthew and dave cameron up against andrew inglis So each round we have uh, the winners going through to the next round. We've got just five rounds, to four rounds to determine the overall winner. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now move into round number two, head to head, some of the best riders in the country. This is going to be an exciting ride-off. We have James Arkins, Twins Ava, and Jamie Priestley riding Amaretto MVNZ. Here we go. They're standing start, and they're off. Oh. Oh, unfortunately, there for James Arkins. Penalised for a false start. They need to do it again. There we go, James Arkins and the Gen Y team are cheering loud and clear. Jamie Priestley staying clear at this stage. James Arkins carrying the two-second penalty. Jamie gets the inside turn. She's just in front of James Arkins. Is he going too fast to get the inside turn? Jamie Priestley's drawn a rail as well. They're screaming from the sidelines. Another rail. Who's going to be in front? James Arkins carries a rail the last. This is going to be tight. Here we go. Well, four seconds from each rider to be added. This is going to be very tight. Twenty-seven, eight, one plus four for Jamie Priestley. 
Jamie Priestley comes out ahead from the official timekeepers. Jamie Priestley declared the winner there against James Arkins, the st speed demon. Well, we now welcome out into the arena our next combination, Alison Rowland against Amanda Madigan. Alison Rowland riding for Battle of the Generations. Alison Rowland riding for the Baby Boomers. And Amanda, Amanda Madigan riding for Gen X. These generations are head to head. They have the standing start. Three, two, and one. They get the all clear from starter Tim Dreverman. Comes out. Amanda Madigan's well and truly ahead. She's off and racing. She's over second fence before Amanda can even think. She's gone a bit wide to the third fence. Comes back. Alison Rollins caught up. Now they're on a level playing field. Coming down to the fourth fence. Can Amanda catch them up? Here we go. It's very close, ladies and gentlemen. They're on the same striding down to the final fence. And it looked like Amanda Madigan was just ahead. Amanda Madigan just ahead in that round. And Versailles. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now move on to our fourth, third combination, Leon Carroll and Will Matthew. And Will Matthew out of the start box just a bit quicker. Leon Carroll looking deceivably slow, but this mare won the last round with ease. Leon's tied her back to the, the next doctor. Leon Carroll turning back just a bit tighter to the next doctor. They're almost riding mirror image rounds. Leon Carroll gets to the final fence just ahead. I think it'll be by a whisker. Leon Carroll coming out ahead of Will Matthew and Alpha Crew. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have our next and final combination for this round of competition as we welcome out Dave Cameron and Andrew Inglis. Here we go, Dave Cameron, Andrew Inglis against each other. Nicolette Blackmarlin, two very quick horses. They get the cheering from the sideline. They're off and racing. Dave Cameron rattles and rolls the first vertical. A bit tighter back to the next Oxer. Who's there? Dave Cameron's well and truly two strides ahead. Nicolette, a little bit faster, turns tight back to the Oxer. There we go, Dave in perfect style. There we go. Dave Cameron's home and unsaddled before Andrew even gets there. There we go. Wonderful round there. Dave Cameron Nicolette wins the final round. Dave Cameron and Nicolette. 
Well, there we go. The Battle of the Generations draws to a close of round number three. We've got the next two winners to determine. Jamie Priestley will come back out against Amanda Madigan. Leon Carroll will come back out against Dave Cameron. And we will then determine our final two for the semi-finals of the Generation Show Jumping Challenge. Proudly brought to you by the Showcase of Show Jumping Team. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in online at home. Wonderful to have you on the live stream. It's uh, great to be reporting here from the beautiful Celebrity Polo Field here at the 2017 World Polo Championships. A wonderful show jumping initiative brought to you by Kerry Winning and the entire Chichester Group team. We'd like to thank all of our helpers here today. Our course designer, John Valens. Competition uh, assistant, Stephen Lamb. Announcer, Tim Drevman. We've got judges and pencillers, Michael Archer, Sue Hartog and Jane Hetherington. Phil Hetherington, our ringmaster. Thank you to the entire team behind the scenes and uh, on the ground here. It's been a wonderful two days of competition and we look forward to uh, the showcase of show jumping, bringing you more wonderful events like this very soon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our horses just warm up for round number four, where we will determine our semi-finalists. On course now, Jamie Priestley, Amarito MVNZ against Gen X rider Amanda Madigan. Not wasting any time here on Versailles. Amanda Madigan going a bit wide, coming back. Jamie Priestley getting ahead there. Snap past her on the inside turn. Amanda Madigan a little bit too fast. Jamie Priestley draws a rail. Two-second penalty to be added. Amanda Madigan comes for home. Jamie Priestley's home and unsaddled, but just remember, we've got a two-second penalty to be added. Amanda Madigan wins just by a whisker. There we go. Jamie Priestley was quick, but not quick enough to make up for her two-second penalty. 1.8 seconds in front, but we needed uh, two seconds ahead. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very exciting afternoon here. Thank you for tuning in on our live streaming at home. We wish you could join us here at the 2017 World Polo Championships Generation Show Jumping Challenge brought to you by the Showcase of Show Jumping team. Thanks for tuning in online. Let us know which team you're barracking for here this afternoon. We've got all four generations, the Baby Boomers, the Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z teams. And we had each generation representing us in this round but this is the knockout stakes we're trying to find our two semi-finalists
On course now, Leon Carroll, Mia Catalina, Dave Cameron and Nicolette. Two chestnut mares, but one certainly faster than the other. Dave Cameron's just holding back a little bit here this afternoon. Leon Carroll's going a little bit wide. A big mare, though. She moves and makes up the ground. Still a few horses, still a few fences left to come. Dave Cameron just going fast enough to stay in front. Here we go. Leon Carroll's just having a cup of tea. He's not going fast at all. Dave Cameron's home. Home and unsaddled there for Dave Cameron and Nicolette. So that means that take coming through to the semifinals, we have Amanda Madigan and Dave Cameron to declare our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, tuning in at home, don't go anywhere. We're going to have a presentation at the completion of the day, a wonderful day of show jumping here at the Showcase of Show Jumping Generations Challenge. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finals. We have Amanda Madigan and Dave Cameron jumping off here on Nicolette and Versailles. Here we go. James Cameron takes a rail at the first. Amanda Madigan just ahead, but this oh, oh no, Dave Cameron's always crashing through the finish flag. Nicolette trying hard. Just Two fences left to go. Amanda Madigan's missing a shoe on her horse and she's decided to go anyway. They've both drawn a rail. Who's going to be quicker? Dave Cameron. Dave Cameron and Nicolette. 2939, there's the time. Dave Cameron and Nicolette, our winner here this afternoon. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for streaming online. We're going to have a writer's interview for you shortly out in the main arena with an interview for our winning teams don't go anywhere thank you very much for streaming and to our sponsors winning appliances smeg appliances appliances online and the chichester group developing the sport of show jumping in australia we uh, thank you very much for tuning in online and taking time out of your friday afternoon whether you be at work, at school, university, wherever you are around the country, comment below. We'd love to hear what you thought of our uh, show jumping initiative here at the Polo Championships. 
something a bit different. We've had a table C, a speed event, a five bar, a Grand Prix, and the knockout stakes all in the one day. We'd love to hear what you think, so comment below. I'm Steph Davies. Thank you very much for tuning in. We hope you've enjoyed the show jumping here today, and uh, we'll be crossing to you live shortly for the presentation of the Show Jumping Generations Challenge brought to you by Showcase of Show Jumping. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in online and at home on our Facebook Live page. We hope you've had as much fun as we have had this afternoon with our Show Jumping Generations Challenge. We're going to bring in the winners now to centre stage of the Celebrity Polo Field here at the Sydney Polo Club. Tim Driverman, you've been commentating all afternoon on the grounds and you were actually our starter. Was it? Did you have a bit of fun out there? Steffi, what an amazing competition that was. Unbelievable. Love a good knockout stakes. Thought that the riders didn't leave any fuel in the tank. It was a battle all the way through. And I love the two seconds to be added, not the three or four. It really left them in the competition, even with a rail down. That's exactly right. And hopefully a competition that we see coming out of our show jumping events more often. We're going to uh, invite the horses and riders in now, and we'll be coming to you live in a few moments' time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the sun's just come out here at the Sydney Polo Club for uh, the afternoon. You can have a look at the camera there of this wonderful ground at the Celebrity Polo Field. And uh, we hope that you've enjoyed tuning in online. We've had such a fun afternoon with our knockout stakes. We're going to be inviting our Generations teams in now and, of course, our winners throughout the competition amongst the baby boomers, the Gen 
Z, G, Gen X, Gen Z, and uh, Gen Y teams. There was so much rivalry. We also had team managers, which created another dynamic and got them involved out on the warm-up arena. Lots of rivalry and banter happening amongst the uh, teams, which was lots of fun, and you'll be able to catch that in a few moments' time as we invite them in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now invite in our winners and place getters from the team's competition in fourth place. Congratulations to Generation Y, our blue team, presented to you by Appliances Online. They come into the arena with their team manager, Todd Hind, and we uh, have a listen to Tal Talara Barwick on Oaks Donatello having a chat to Tim Dreverman there in the main arena. Our lineup for Generation Y, we have James Arkins, Gabby Kuna, and Will Matthew, our other competing riders. They uh, came out and were very strong in the competition. Won here yesterday. They've had a wonderful time competing at the event. Well, we now welcome up to the presentation area. In third place in the competition, our red team, riding for the Chichester Group, a new non-for-profit show jumping development organisation, helping the sport improve here in Australia. We congratulate our team riders for Gen Z, the young guns of the competition. Team manager Jock Rice Ward catches up and comes out here to the main arena. We congratulate our team riders, Jamie Priestley, Sophie Smith, Amelia Douglas and Eliana Derry. Now we congratulate in second place. We invite up our next team. It was Generation X brought to you by Smeg Appliances. We invite Generation X up to be congratulated in second place. David Cameron and Nicolette, Amanda Madigan, Versailles, Brooke Campbell, Brenda Harvey and Leon Carroll. Mia Catalina.
So huge congratulations there to our second place getters, the black team for Smeg Appliances. We'd now like to welcome out our winners of the Show Jumping Generations Challenge brought to you by the showcase of Show Jumping. We bring forward our Baby Boomers team, Chrissy Harris, Alison Rowland, Andrew Inglis and Chris Chug. We welcome in the winning team. You can see their beautiful rugs and flower garlands brought to you by Winning Appliances. Our winning team there. Chris Chug having his hands full with just a young horse. Ditto. Alison Rowland, Oaks Visionary. Chrissy Harris, HSP Minu, and Andrew Inglis with Black Marlin. We're going to have a talk to the winning team very shortly, ladies and gentlemen. So don't go anywhere on our live stream. We're going to hand the horses over to their grooms and invite the riders over to the podium, our showcase of show jumping podium very shortly. So we're going to invite all of our team riders up to the showcase of show jumping podium. We're going to welcome them up here and have a chat to them. Wow, guys, you had a, a great ride and um, you've already had a win. We've had a chat, but what's it like, guys, to come out on top? And Alison Rowland, I saw your horse is getting very excited and kicking up his heels. Uh, did you have fun out there today? Yeah, it was great fun. There was a bit of pressure towards the end, but we came through. Very good. And uh, where was the pressure coming from? Was it a team manager, your fans on the sideline? Oh, just trying to be there at the end. <laughs> we were... So we're going to uh, invite our other teams up to the podium now. We'll have a have a chat to uh, Andrew Inglis. You were riding very hard here this afternoon. How was Black Marlin out on the course? Uh, he, he jumped very well this afternoon. I just wasn't quite fast enough. There we go. And did you enjoy riding in the team challenge? Uh, the whole weekend's been uh, very good and uh, it makes me think we should maybe have some of this uh, a little more often. Definitely. Well, we'd certainly love to have it. We welcome out our young guns now, Gen er, Generation Z, making even me feel old out here on the, on the stage. And we'll now like to invite... Generation X. I'm just going to make my way off the stage to allow uh, all our teams to get up there. And we're much safer from the champagne. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in online on our live streaming. We're watching all of our winning teams from the showcase of show jumping, Generations Show Jumping Challenge. Jump on there. James Arkins, Gabby Kuna, Talara Barwick just making their way over there. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. We have fourth place getters at Generation Y in blue. Third place goes to Generation Z in the red. Second place goes to Generation X and our winners, Generation Baby Boomers. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. They are all soaked in champagne and it's all smiles here at the Sydney Polo Club for the 2017 World Polo Championships. Ladies and gentlemen tuning in at home, we hope you've had a wonderful time show, show jumping with us here today. Thank you very much for tuning in and uh, we hope to see you at the event. If you want to come out and have a look at all the action, we are at the 2017 World Polo Championships, 100 Ridges Lane in Richmond. We'd love to see you over the weekend. My name's Steph Davies. Thanks for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you at a showcase of show jumping event soon.